And we're back. Welcome back to the Lean and Stronger podcast. This is Coach Peter. Coach Teresa. Today's episode is going to be super, super actionable. And it's going to be an echo from the past. It's going to be an echo from your grandmother, from your mother. Because sometimes, like, your grandmas and your moms, like, they just got, they got their shit figured out, you know. They, they do. They really do. Like, every time, like, for example, okay, mom and dad... They have something to say. We're always like, roll our eyes. We're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And then literally like two weeks later, we're like, they were right. (laughs) Uh, Okay, it doesn't apply to absolutely everything. I've got to put that out there. But I've got to tell you that her dad actually like, especially when it comes to like, you know, we've moved to the tropics (laughs) and there's some very specific problems that arise, like living in the tropics. Mm. As a for instance, my... uh, I've got a bit of a rash. It, where? <laughs> where is it? Apparently, the it's rash? called the jock rash. The FNQ right? jock rash. Yeah. So, this is something that Russell, Teresa's dad, pointed out. Yeah, a, literally. A couple of weeks ago. Just, it'll come like the very nonchalant, like just very like vague little thing. He'll say something and. Better watch out for that X, Y, Z. Exactly. And Make then sure couple. Make sure you do X, Y, Z. Exactly. And then couple, you're like, ah, pfft. Come on, Dad. Like that's bullshit. Like that's not gonna apply to me. Sure enough, a couple of weeks later, <laughs> that bloody jaw crash is yeah. here, <laughs> waking me up three times a night. <laughs> yeah, just another testament that this Finnish body is still going through some adaptations, <laughs> living in the in the humid and wet. You're tropics. doing really well. Yeah, you're doing very well. Very cool. Well. well, let's get to the actionable stuff. What okay. do the grandmas and the moms know? Mm. Well, I'm sure that your mom has told you to have breakfast. Mm. There's so many things that are very common. Mm-hmm. A lot of people struggle with. Like if some of these kind of, I wonder if some of these would Can you paint sound us a familiar. Picture? Let's say that it's like mid morning and you're just like kind of, you feel a little bit jittery. Mm. You're like, it's like a cold feeling. At least mm. for me, it feels a bit cold and mm. um, you're getting a bit short mm. like your kind of your tolerance for bullshit shrinks you, you <laughs> which just, is already pretty low <laughs> yeah yeah let's not go that you, you become snappy right and then you're like uh, you just can't put your finger on like what is it what, what is this feeling mm. maybe it's early afternoon and you're all of a sudden you're like I, I need some chocolate. Mm. Like, I really need some chocolate right now. Yeah, or that chocolate or, chip cookie in the pantry. Exactly. Or like, I just, I just, I just really need to like, I need some nuts. I think I need a snack. Mm. I, that's like, I need a snack. If you ever thought, think to yourself, I need a snack, then this is something that you want to listen to. Or at later at night, you're like, all right, I've had dinner. Mm-hmm. I had a dessert. Mm-hmm. But I still want to go in the pantry and like I still want to get some cookies and whatever. Whatever. There's that old block of chocolate that I yeah. totally forgot about and I need to go dig it out. Exactly. Even if it's like stale yeah. and there's some questionable color on it. That's right. <laughs> oh shit, I actually ate that last week. Well, fuck it, I'm going to go to the corner shop and get another one. If you experience any of these, they can be traced back that... You haven't had breakfast. Mm. You have not had breakfast. The power of breakfast, it's not only in like, obviously, if you're doing some vigorous physical activity in the morning, you need that, you need that energy. You need those carbohydrates that are going to fuel you through your training sessions so that you can train really, really hard. You can train properly. But that's not the only reason why we have breakfast. We also have breakfast to set our body up for good blood sugar management throughout the entire day. Mm. Because without it, especially if you're one of those people who jump straight into a coffee, maybe two, you are riding that blood sugar roller coaster like you're some kind of, I don't know, adrenaline freak. And it's not only the blood sugar roller coaster because you also add in the caffeine roller coaster into the mix then. You know, you wake up in the morning, and you go straight into having a coffee, you get a boost of adrenaline, boost of cortisol, these stress hormones give you energy, but they 
they are the ones that are, you know, they're going to put you into a, like your nervous system, into a bit of a higher, mm. higher arousal state, right? So you haven't had breakfast. So then come like a couple hours later down the track, now that that caffeine is starting to wear off, like you're just going to be absolutely ravenous for whatever you can get your hands on. And then when you're ravenous and you're, you're just like, God, just give me that shit. <laughs> give me that shit. Like, I, don't, I don't get what it is. Just give me that fucking sugary thing. You you have that, and then a little bit later down the track, because you didn't have a proper balanced meal that would have like kept your blood sugar levels nice and stable. Guess what? Now that blood sugar is gonna come crashing down again. Mm. So now you're like riding these waves, like oh fuck, it's four p.m. I gotta go get a coffee, but I better make sure I get some donuts too, or whatever. You're riding this wave throughout the entire day, and no wonder why you struggle to focus, why mm. you why you struggle to stay, like keep, keep your attention on some challenging thing at work. Why do you find yourself? How did this freaking phone end up in my hand again? Mm. Like, why have I just wasted twenty minutes of my time scrolling? A lot of it can be traced back to not having breakfast and having your blood sugar management levels be a little bit suboptimal. It's huge, it's huge. Yeah, the other reason for having a breakfast, it's that not only we, especially when it comes to having, or what should you have for breakfast? Mm, let's paint a couple of scenarios. Yeah, what should you have for breakfast? You should not just have like a piece of white bread for breakfast, because again, having that like, if you don't have any protein and fat, if you just have white bread that are very high in carbohydrates, no fiber, that's going to cause your blood sugar levels to go up really quickly. And what goes up really quickly usually comes down really quickly too. You've already understood that that's a problem when it comes to your focus and your energy levels. So you want to have a balanced, proper meal and you want to make sure that you've got protein in your meal. Because that protein has been shown, having high protein breakfast has been shown to reduce cravings and snacking later at night. Mm. Also, that protein, we often, we hear protein, we're like, oh, that's, that's, uh, that's for muscles, right? That's, uh, you need some protein to build some muscles. And you're absolutely correct. But protein and amino acids that make up proteins are also the building blocks of neurotransmitters, which are these chemical messengers that are required for these processes that happen in our head that are required for things like memory, decision making, like strategic thinking. These things are going to deplete your neurotransmitters. But also your emotional health as well and your mood. And your ability to control your impulses mm. and just like keep your shit together. Like in plain English, just keeping <laughs> your, you're keeping your shit together ability during the day. It's going to depend a lot on like, did you have protein for breakfast? And having protein for breakfast is going to improve your taking, keeping your shit together ability tolerance during the rest of the day. Love it. Just made up that way. <laughs> it works. Yeah. So let's talk about what are some actual like breakfast scenarios that we might be able to go through because okay. I know some food. people are really busy, even though busy is not an excuse. Let's talk about what a quick breakfast that ticks all the boxes can look like. Give us your really fast on the go. I've just done three hours up the mountain and back. I have a call in 20 minutes. I need to get protein, carbs, fats after this basically marathon um, length activity. What are you going to go for? Okay, perfect. I will, I will not only give you that, but I will also give you what did I eat mm. after I woke up at 4.30 a.m. There we go. What did I eat before I went up the mountain? <laughs> and then I'll True. tell you what I ate after coming down the mountain. Perfect. Okay? Let's go. So I've been doing Chobani Fit Yogurt because that has uh, protein in it. Mm -hmm. I'll chuck in some blueberries for a bit of carbohydrates and especially for fiber, for vitamins and, and minerals. And, and just nutrient into the food. There's also a quick study on that side note where blueberries have actually shown to have a positive impact relatively instantly on your mood. Well, you there you go. Yeah, so blueberries for the win. And if you're finding that they're not in season, get the organic or even just frozen blueberries. 
um, in the freezer section yeah. because they're a lot more affordable, they're a lot more convenient. That's all right. Then I'll chuck in some peanut butter in there because that's going to have a bit more fats. It's going to give me a bit more calories and it's also going to slow down the digestion and absorption of the rest of the meal. I'm going to have a banana just mm. to add some, again, add some carbs, add some fiber in there. Uh, I'll put a bit of honey on top just to add some carbs and some calories in there. Let's remember, hey, I'm not going to go and sit on my ass at the office. I'm going to go and climb the freaking mountain and come back, right? And then I'll also have a glass of super juice and if you've been following my social media accounts lately or if you watch the YouTube video five steps for natural testosterone boost you would know what super juice is so if if you don't know what that is I would highly recommend you go watch that video after this that's pretty amazing like you're getting so many antioxidants so much fiber in there you're obviously getting protein carbs like you're really ticking all the boxes in something that literally takes you less than 90 seconds to make. I'm going to tell you how quick it is. When I come out of the room in the morning, Panna, our little puppy dog, comes out of the... I, I let her out of their cage and I manage to make the breakfast and eat the breakfast before she asks me to go and open the door for her so that she can go, go and do toilet. a wee. Wow. Yeah. You've been doing all that while I've been snoozing. Yeah, exactly. So it happens. <laughs> it's it's a lightning fast breakfast. So saying that you don't have time for this kind of thing, you're full of shit. And by the time, by the way, I've also had my coffee there mm. at the same time because the coffee, I put it into this espresso maker the night before. Yes, very organized. So all I have to do is to... Literally like turn the, the dial? The, just turn the dial and it's on. Yeah. Coffee's brewing. Very organized. So, then I come out of the mountain. Mm. What do I have then? Here's another option for you. It's having some oats. Mm. Putting protein, putting a bit of protein powder into your oats. Make mm -hmm. sure it's a protein powder that your guts can tolerate. Yes. Um, at the huge. moment, like obviously because you don't do that well with dairy, we're just gonna, we're, we're just using a collagen peptide protein mm. and collagen uh, protein has also shown a lot of studies to be beneficial for your skin health and um, the rejuvenation and hydration of your skin so keep that collagen protein in there guys yeah definitely <laughs> but if you are if you can tolerate whey protein whey protein has actually been shown to be more beneficial for muscle building mm. and strength gain and it's actually like i've seen some stuff about Collagen protein and it's potentially like not being as good mm. when it comes to like stimulating muscle protein synthesis as whey protein is. If, so if we had that opportunity, we'd be doing yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. But I'm just not gonna live in a household where. Well, there's she's a host of dairy every day. <laughs> it's not even that. It's more so just the underlying stuff, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway. <laughs> we're going to go there in a the moment. So, so we've got oats, we've got protein powder, we're going to add some honey to get more carbs, more calories. We're going to add in peanut butter again to get more fats and get more calories. Usually I'll also add some chia seeds because they're very high obviously in fat as well, so they're going to bring in some calories, but they're very high in om omega-3 fatty acids, which are really, really beneficial. Then we're also going to be adding some more blueberries into that and a bit more cinnamon. Cinnamon actually more so for taste, but cinnamon has also been proven to improve blood sugar. Yes, um, regulation, regulation throughout the day. Like yes. it'll keep your blood sugar, help you to keep your blood sugar levels more stable after you've had that meal, if it contains some cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus it just makes it taste great. Yeah, it's delicious. Who yeah. doesn't want protein oats of a morning? That's it's right. so good. So what do you have? So I, I kind of like to cycle through a different thing for through different things. So sometimes if I am gonna take Panna for a walk and I do wanna make sure that I'm having some food because with me, um, if I just have straight up black coffee and no food, like the jitters is not great. And you know like anxiety. Yeah, quite a lot of anxiety. I know there are a lot of other people, um, in this, on this planet who also experience that. So if you are feeling that, I really need you to eat some protein, carbs, and maybe some slow release fats to help you just um, balance out those blood sugars and kind of bring down the jitters and the anxiety. Yeah, yeah I really felt that one this morning, actually. Yeah, um, I, th I think we, could, we should add that into the list of things that if you're experiencing this, you didn't have breakfast. It's mm. anxiety. And mm. just, just like feeling, 
have, it's not a nice feeling. Yeah, but mm. but if you are finding yourself being really anxious for some odd reason, mm -hmm. for no reason at all, yeah. you're having like negative thoughts and just not believing in yourself and whatever rides along with being anxious in yes. the mid-morning, yes. I want you to think back to that morning. Did you have breakfast? Yeah. But did you have coffee? Mm. Like oftentimes it is, no, I didn't have breakfast, but yes, I've had like at least one of one to five cups of coffee. <laughs> it's a big break. Yeah. So what do you have so, then? Yeah. Well, what would I usually have? My really fast go-to breakfast is a yogurt bowl. I love my yogurt bowl. I've got coconut yogurt and I will add a scoop of collagen protein in there. Um, ideally, I do prefer more um, whole foods based protein sources when it comes to breakfast, but I will have um, a scoop of protein if I'm on the go. So from there, I'll add in some chia seeds, maybe some healthy granola um, that I really like freedom foods are great because it's gluten-free dairy-free um, and oat-free because I cannot have oats um, and then from there I'll also add chopped banana and I might have a little pomegranate juice as well because I do find that the, there's so many wonderful health benefits <laughs> god dang it I didn't specify what it was you, you spilled the beans well you should still go watch my um, natural testosterone boost video <laughs> You said I didn't say pomegranate juice. I just said su I just said super juice. Oh, super juice! I kept juice. it. I kept Strong. it close to my chest, but uh. you just freaking <laughs> ruined it for me. Suzzy. I also see you making some eggs some days, don't so, you? So yeah, so I do love myself some classic toast with avocado, two to three eggs. I honestly think like. Who, like, what girl doesn't want to eat that for breakfast every single day? Maybe a little bit of crumbed, uh, crumbled feta and some drizzle of lemon. Like, you can't go wrong. It never gets old. I no. would have that every single day. It's, it's perfect. And then on... The <laughs> I would say that men, you know, why not? Like you, That's you, true. You said, who, uh, what woman, what, what, who, what men? Who doesn't what, like that? Who doesn't like that? You would eat that every morning. Yeah, too, wouldn't I love you? that. But you do, you do love your protein oats. And then it's if I'm... quick and easy. Yeah, it's quick and easy. And then if I'm not having that, um, at the moment I've been having some quinoa porridge, which I've really been enjoying as well. Um, so I'll have that with a bit of almond milk, blueberries, of course, um, some chopped banana, a bit of granola, you yeah. know, we love adding bits and pieces. We, we want to keep life interesting. So we've got a bit pretty balanced meal and there. And protein powder, yeah. And protein powder, okay. So we've got a pretty balanced meal there. And I think that what you should keep in mind, if you're someone who likes to, maybe you just don't like making breakfast, maybe you're just like, you're not a cook, or whatever reason you don't make breakfast, but you do like eating breakfast, and you get it from, from a cafe or something, like, just, you don't, Go for that pancake bowl every single day. You, mm. know? you don't have to go for a straight up croissant every day either. Yeah, exactly. Like, again, that's not a balanced meal. That's just super high in carbohydrates. We're going to go to the blood sugar management mm. roller coaster from there. That's have right. a proper meal, eggs, eggs benedict, You're avo, an adult. avo and eggs, like with toast. That's it. Like, you can usually get that slow for cooked. Beef. 12 to 14 dollars like literally yeah. two pieces of toast and an egg yes you could have made it at home for one one eighth of the price but if you're really finding that you're struggling and you're at a cafe two eggs on toast a little bit of avocado bang it's so good bob's your uncle for success bob's your uncle and who's your auntie i'm the carol <laughs> <laughs> uh sorry that's an inside joke we should have made inside inside jokes yeah Sorry. <laughs> Bob's, an, Bob's your uncle is an Australian expression, meaning that. What does it mean? I have no idea. What? I don't know what any of the meanings mean. I don't think anybody knows. They just, you just learn them as a kid and then they just come out at the right time. <laughs> okay. Bob's your uncle. It just means like, you do you, you know? Bob's your uncle. It just means like, and that's good. Yeah, good on ya. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if that's... I don't know, whatever. Anyway... So there's some breakfast options for you. If you're really on the go, it could be an overnight oats. It could be a chia pudding. Just go, go ahead and pop that um, protein powder, some blueberries or some other forms of berries. It could be a protein shake. Like there's so many options that literally would take you 30 seconds or less to make, but it's literally about you taking the responsibility and you telling, uh, you acknowledging that you're an adult and that an adult should be having breakfast. Especially if you're looking for long-term progress and success with your health and your fitness. 
it will change your life. If you have any questions or comments about anything we've covered in this episode, we'd love to hear that. It would also help us out a lot if you left us a rating, a review, comment, like, whatever kind of engagement that you feel comfortable with. It really helps out us a lot when it comes to being able to reach out more people. Hey, maybe just tell someone that if you really enjoy listening to us, like just tell someone in your life, like, hey, maybe you should, you would like this, epi- uh, this episode or this podcast, these guys. We're on socials at Coach Puru, at, at Coach, Teresa, Coach West. Teresa West. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Hope that you have an absolutely great rest of the day. See you in the next one.